Kunal, let's have your BTST ideas as well on that note. So, uh, on the BTST front, Kotak Bank is something which looks attractive. That's a stock which I would suggest as a buy. Uh, my expectation is that the stock would probably come back towards the breakout of a bullish pen in formation. So, 1800 as a target, stop loss at 1725. And Trivini Turban is something which looks attractive. Again, the stock has seen a bounce back today, uh, back to that 485, 490 level. So, I would suggest a buy with 520 as a target, stop loss 470. Right. Nuresh, what about your BTST trades? So, first would be a buy on Bharti Airtel stop loss at 12.15, target price of 12.70. Uh, buy on Bajaj Finance with a stop loss at 65.80 and a target price of 67.00. Okay. Um, we let all of our experts go on uh, that note. Devain, Kunal, Naresh, all of you, thanks as always for taking the time out and joining in. Remember, this week is uh, indeed a crucial one. We'll have... Uh, the FOMC rate decision, I think uh, that's something that the market is categorically waiting, especially after BOJ completely turning uh, tide and increasing rates after a long, long hiatus of almost about 17 years. But let me take it across to Vinny, find out how the day-to-day -day has panned out for us and what have been some of the individual movers. Vinny? Absolutely. So, seems like nothing exciting happened in today's day because Nifty is managing to close on uh, and, you know, 21,800 levels, day's lowest point is uh, what it's uh, closing at 1%. Down take 250 points almost down that we're seeing for the trade. Sensex 2 is seeing uh, similar pressure as well, down almost a percent as well. Nifty Bank also, what we were seeing on the charts also, that too was clearly under pressure today as well and down 5 tenth of a percent in trade is what it's closing at. Yes, slightly near the day's lowest point but uh, off the day's lowest as of now for the Nifty Bank. Uh, mid cap, small cap, that too, nothing exciting happened there as well. Nifty mid cap also saw a decline of 1.3%. Uh, small cap, two similar trends. Day's lowest point is what the Nifty small cap is closing at as well. Advanced decline ratio today has been clearly in uh, the favour of declines versus advances. No guessing about that as well. And in the Nifty 50, I beg your pardon, when you look at it in terms of which stocks saw the fall, we are heavyweight reliance industries that was falling in trade. TCS, Infosys, ACL Tech, all these names clearly under pressure. So, Nifty IT was among the pack that saw clear pressure coming in there. Other than that, we did have the FMCG names like HUL, Britannia, uh, Nestle too, also under pressure as well. So, yes, that's the pressure coming in over there on the FMCG pack as well. HUL was actually at a 52-week low as well. So, now we have Nifty Media that is also among the top sectoral losers as well as a Nifty Pharma that are also seeing a decline coming in trade as well. Uh, let's pull up some of these individual names that were moving in trade today as well. Paris Deep Phosphate that was down and out in trade. The company has actually uh, managed uh, to uh, close one of its plants in um uh, Goa and that was the reason that we saw a fall coming in for Paradeep Phosphate as well. Obviously in terms of uh, TCS also we did have uh, uh, an impact coming in on TCS as well keeping an eye out on that one because uh, overall there was a block deal that has happened likely seller is going to be Tata Sons who are the buyers that's what we're waiting out for but 4% down tick on TCS as well. Indigo that was the one where we saw some bit of a green coming in we did have a brokerage note from Kotak keeping the stock uh, on the positive side but okay by the end of the day you know Indigo also is actually closing in the red as well. Uh, JBM Auto, that was in the mid and small cap space which managed to hold on to green. Was it uh, still holding on to green as of now? Yes, managed to hold on to that green uh, at the end of the day as well. Up almost a percent is what it's closing on to. But the sharper fall, you know, you see coming in in the second hour of the trading session, no matter what news flow, the market is not managing to hold on to any strength and that continues to be there in terms of the pressure on the market as well, whether the mid cap, small cap or the benchmark indices, clear pressure coming in there today. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.